Most people in the Geltacht historically have had experience of working on marginal farms which did not immediately respond to increased investment of time and money. Therefore, there would not naturally uh, be this relationship in people's minds between uh, a unit, a specific unit of time and a specific unit of money. There is also um, a different concept of the uh, working unit or the working party, cooperation. Uh, the cooperative unit was very important in the west of Ireland. Uh, the cooperative unit is not important as such amongst individuals in the modern factory. The structure uh, provides for the cooperation. Individuals are not expected to lay down tools when they see a workmate in difficulties and go over to give him a hand. They are not expected when they have free time on their hands to take up a second occupation in the factory. They are expected to do a specific job throughout the day. This is uh, a concept which is alien to the uh, experience of the Geltok worker of the past, and this initially gives him some difficulties. Gaeltara errands and others' difficulties in bringing industry to the Gaeltacht have arisen mainly along these lines. For instance, a manager of any factory employing girls finds they will work overtime only to help him out, not for money. Incentive schemes based on competition and individual productivity don't work because they would rather help each other out than compete. In the case of men, promotion to a desk is not an incentive because office work is not regarded as work. So the manager who has the highest motives and ideals often ends up at loggerheads with his work people. This is one of the fundamental problems which any development scheme will have to think deeply about, not merely whether the manager has enough Irish to communicate.